It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The Legend of Zelda is a series defined by its constant innovation. 2D, 3D, cartoon or painterly, Link has defeated the evil forces of Ganon dozens of times over. This brings us to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This Zelda is an open world game, making it, much like the real world, a great place for reference photography. Today our piece is Princess Zelda walking the halls of the Temple of Time. So, let's get painting. So I've equipped myself with my finest synthetic brush. Actually, it's a size 6 Neath stiff synthetic brush. They're fantastic for this early part because they hold this shape beautifully. So it's really easy and an effective way to get some of these strong, sharp lines. Because ultimately, I'm trying to go in with the big shapes, making sure I'm placing them in the correct spot. Because as you can see, it's really just a vertical on the left, vertical on the right, bit of a three-quarter arch, and then looking through to the back. This is actually a Gothic Revival style building, and I just felt this was uh, so fitting, uh, and hopefully I'll do justice to this painting. So I'm just getting some of these mid-tones in first. Now we can see them more in full force. And one of the tricky parts with this is, is how dark to go. As you can see on that left hand side, it does go pretty close to black. But if I go too black, too dark, it'll actually close things in. So I'm actually going to use quite a bit of ultramarine blue and uh, cadmium red. That'll give me that lovely effect that I've got now. See how it's sort of created nice depth, nice distance but I've still got a little tint of blue. And I thought it super important that I try and push the figure of Zelda as far as possible early on, because ultimately that's what's gonna make the whole painting work. And I do this quite often with sort of figurative boats, uh, tractors, whatever. When you have that one distinct focal point or object in your painting it's really great to just push it just a bit because if you don't get it right well then we're in quite a bit of trouble because uh, no fancy brushwork on the cathedral the building will really rescue it the viewer's eye is going to go straight to the figure so this is mostly yellow ochre a bit of white and as you can see this is a little battle battle worn uh, of a little device but it's just an old rectangle bit of picture framing but it's just marvelous to get these verticals and notice that I'm deliberately uh, dotting and dashing not doing a continual line I'm trying to let the viewer join the line up and we'll do some more on the right hand side I'm using a liner brush it's another synthetic brush as well uh, they normally only last me about a month, but boy, they're a great little addition. If anything, I'd love them in a long handle, but I've never seen them make this type like that yet. So these will be directional lines. You'll notice I've tried to use every line, whether it's the, the red tiles on the floor, the line markings on the floor, everything to lead to Zelda, right to the, to the figure. And I felt that the colour scheme of the outfit was ideal for this scene as well. Uh, those lovely little bits of cadmium yellow on her outfit will really sort of set it off towards the end. And just coming in doing a little bit of the almost sort of decoration really. It's the uh, texture and change in uh, the grain of the stone. They were real craftsmen in these days. Even though this um, building actually was started in 1901 and wasn't officially finished till 2019. So it did take them quite a while to sort of really finish it off. And I love putting those little candles and lights in the distance that really 
does sort of get the eye to bounce around the scene and it really does set the lighting as well. Probably the hardest part was this little bit of sort of reflected lighting on the floor. It's so easy to overdo it. Um, and that's why sometimes it'll take me two or three, four goes to get it right. Really pleased with the, the painting. The pose was fantastic. So I'm really thrilled. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.